are. All right, we are live. Hello, welcome to session 13. We've been doing it for a while now. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting cozy. Ow. I like it. Uh, I wanted to okay. kind of bring up to speed the whole uh, situation for us and kind of illustrate this recklessness that was engaged. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Morbarn, Zogchen, Tearless, and Noravar, you stand amongst strewn rubble of of just just shattered wagons uh scattered crates uh canvas around uh, of at least five wagons i think um along with uh you know about two dozen bodies or so uh you have uh along with whatever's left of them from the carnage you you know begotten <laughs> uh and then there's and then you have two of these members of this caravan tied up uh they seem to go pretty willingly at this point uh but cornered and surrounded you have a large uh i don't know what was a wagon what we determined it was like it's like a uh i guess a wagon yeah like uh, main caravan mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, nice, like a nice full enclosed wagon, rather uh, nicely made. Um, definitely looks quality, uh, those little beat up at this point, where you know that the merchant uh, trader Alvini has locked himself in. Uh, you notice uh, Norvar kind of like panting a little bit, taking a seat, looking off in the distance. Um, Norvar, are you facing the carnage, or are you trying to face out into the open field? No, no, I'm looking at them. I just had to sit, like, I was like, because remember, I healed everybody, and I have nothing for myself, so I'm just <laughs> sort of sitting going, I'm just going to sit here and bleed for a second. <laughs> you guys, go. I'm right here. I'm right here. Call me over when you're ready. Tag me in. Huh? That, that, that's really interesting. Because remember, I ran. I ran, like, from town to catch up to them, and I showed up just in time to play whack-a-mole with trying to resurrect <laughs> these fools. <laughs> like, I was like, you're alive, and you're still okay. You're still okay. Right. We, could put you over my, uh, we could put you over Trouncer's uh, horseback. <laughs> I'm not at that level here. I, I have eight <laughs> left. I'm just like, okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll catch up to you guys. So as soon as you guys, I'm listening, I'm close enough to hear everything, but I'm definitely going to just, I think my character, it's fair to say, would not be like, yeah, everything's fine. I think I'd be like, okay, I need to throw up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah uh you definitely have you're definitely standing there um and you can you know that alvini's inside this this wagon locked himself in uh, you did see that he was wearing breastplate uh he did have a sword at his side but he was certainly um he does not seem like a combatant we'll say All right. Um, should we approach his uh, caravan cautiously? Well, I think you guys aren't that you guys aren't that aren't that far from it. I mean, you guys, were, okay. you guys were, there was a whole line of, of five of the wagons where they put up a defensive position that you broke through. We were um, just fighting our way while, there. While Morbarn kind of ran like a maniac underneath one of them <laughs> while trying to get, avoid getting stabbed. Um, yeah, and, just, uh, you were definitely child's playing that entire yeah, yeah, yeah totally like, ankles. <laughs> And so, yeah, I yeah. that. that was a little creepy. Uh, and then you <laughs> <laughs> definitely, uh, uh, but yeah, you're, you have easy access to his wagon. It's not a problem. You can size it up if you want to. Uh, you know, also, yeah. two prisoners. We have two, two guard yeah. prisoners. The prisoners you guys just tied up. Um, I don't think you gagged them. They and they weren't like resisting. They weren't going to give you shit. They're like, this job ain't worth it at this point. Um, I don't think you guys were going to cold-blooded murder them. They threw their weapons down voluntarily and such. Um, and they're, not, they're just kind of sitting... Cold. You guys just kind of have them sitting leaning against like a wagon wheel. You know. I guess I'll, I'll yell out to Alvini that, uh, Alvini, you're surrounded! All right. So, you, you, so Tearless, uh, tier you kind of come up with your, uh, you know, what's... I guess the effect of the left of yourself right now, because you're pretty... You're, pretty yeah. you're not in the best shape, but you're not in horrible shape, I think. Uh, what do you got, got like, 20, 20 hit points, something like that? 20 hit points, okay, so arrows you, broken yeah, so you, off my body. Yeah, when you have a, your upper torso rib broken. Um, and, I'm uh, at eight. 
It's okay. I got two k two rib cages though. Yeah, two rib cages. That's right. I got a spare one. one. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I really. I yeah. We had a we had a look at a lot of uh, little. Bit, <laughs> We, we we delved into a little bit of a world last night with centaurs. We'll say, um, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, but, you all did. <laughs> to understand their anatomy, Dominic. To understand the yeah. anatomy. Um, so we, uh, so you, you kind of, you kind of, you know, you're feeling ribs a little bit move around, whatever. But um, you you yell at Alvini. You don't hear a stir inside. Okay. Hmm. More barn, you uh, maybe you can uh, sort of sneak around, or you want to check it out. So yeah, let's investigate. So let me. The wagon, the wagon does have windows on it of sort. They're not very big. Uh, definitely, the only person that could probably get into them would be More Barn with uh, his uh, known physique. Can I smash them? What's up? Can I, can I try to break the windows? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you go up and you you take the butt of your sword and you psh, smash the window. This uh, is freaking out. There goes the property value. <laughs> and so, yeah, yeah. yeah You'll never be able to went down. Uh, and Absolutely you kinda, no respect. You look through, and uh, you can. It's a little darker inside. Uh, your eyes have to kind of adjust uh, as like you're in a very open area in the mid afternoon. Um, and you look on in, and you can see that, it, that the windows do have kind of like a bar set up on them. That it's you could squeeze through. It's gonna be a very tight fit, even for you. Um, mm. But inside, you can see. Uh, you take a second, and you see Alvini uh, standing there. He's got his his mustache and his um, his hair. His hair is, is kind of frazzled where, where you seen him earlier. He's wearing his nicest clothes under his breastplate. Um, he's holding a uh what looks to be like a rapier and he see he kind of sees you going through it and he like holds his sword kind of between you and him obviously but you're not he's definitely not in striking range of you he would be able to pick up if he's gonna try to come after you pretty quickly okay so uh, i'd make like a really awesome comment about his shitty mustache and like <laughs> Bruise his ego a little bit. All right, all right, yeah. You, I go, Albini, <laughs> get out of this. Okay, I'm gonna, get I am get out. I am requesting more barn make an intimidation check on that because that's pretty good. Yeah, uh, I just see more barn on these like on the side of this car on the side of this wagon like shaking the bars, like 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 the dude in the fucking scorpions video. I always hold the bar. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, but make it into ah! oh. <laughs> plus two. Dude, um, I just got I got a I got a natural twenty, baby. Okay. So you, you go. Ah! Oh, you're, you're, like, you're like going crazy, and he like throws his rapier down, and he's like looking at the door, looking at you. Uh, he he kind of goes towards the door a little bit, and. Uh, uh, he, you can see him. His back hits the door. He doesn't look like he's opening it though, but he's definitely got his back to the door. Can somebody come around, like yeah. on the back end, and like if his back is to the door, can there be someone else there? I can push. Yeah, him? yeah. I'll, I'll move around. I'll see her motion to me, and I'll nice. trounce her. We'll cruise around there, ready to around. just. Gorilla press slam or something. Yeah. Well, okay, so you come out of the door. The door is not opening. You can definitely tell that it has like three sets of locks on it. Like it's pretty heavily art. Like he looks like he can put himself in here for a while. Uh, and and the gnome screaming at the the. I started uh, pa I pound on that door too. Just okay, like you start pound, boom, boom, boom. To scare um, him out of there. And and uh, more barn. You see him kind of like like he's like freaking out. He's definitely freaking out. Um, <laughs> You see him like kind of go off. You can't see which what he's doing in the corner, but he's like he, like you can hear him going through stuff pretty quickly. Like he's like looking for something or whatever. Careful, careful. Yeah. Break that door open. Okay, yeah. I'm like yeah. from a distance going. You should break the door open. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to like see if I can like rip the door off or, or kick it in with my back too. Oh, this is that's oh, the uh, that big. Yeah. So the door opens outwards. Uh, you might be able to pull it off. Okay, I'll okay. go with the full. So off. you 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 put your trident away. You go up to it and you go and start trying to like you know rip and tear it off. Uh, go ahead and give me a strength check there. Um, okay. Tearless. Start calling you to the wrecking crew <laughs> of the group. 
I mean, we do. Okay, I'm gonna roll. My, my, my first roll. Oh, I got a 20! Jeez! Yes! Oh! <laughs> you guys are just fucking this dude up. Like, this is, <laughs> like, you're just like, ah! <laughs> sounds like I did not plan for this. Yeah, stuff. no, just like hardcore invoke terror. Like, I mean, yeah, yeah. So you yeah, are just movie. slow clapping in the background. <laughs> yeah, Norvar has got the best seat in the house. He's just like, wow, I didn't expect a show. And so you go up and you actually start like ripping the door. You don't manage to rip it off the hinges, but you do manage to like uh, bend it a little bit. Like it won't go back normally how it was. <laughs> I stick my face in it. Yeah. <laughs> Get a whole Jack Nicholson accent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you, you guys, like you're trying to pull the door and you actually have a pretty good thing on it. Um, Tearless, you think you might be able to reach an arm in there and grab him. Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, do that. Bring a grapple check with this. Bring him here. Let's bring him over here for a meeting. Let's have a sit. Grapple, grapple, grapple. So grapple, grapple, so strength, right? Disadvantage with strength, yeah. Okay, plus three. Uh, yeah, it's actually yeah. like your uh, normal attack value. Or your okay. athletics value. Sorry, athletics. Okay, five. <laughs> five total? Well, with disadvantage, it's my lowest. What's your athletics bonus? Isn't it like, oh, you don't have a... Oh, plus, plus five. five, sorry. Yeah, yeah, so seven. Seven, okay. So yeah, you go up and you start grabbing him, and he like he skitters, he kind of skitters out a little bit. Uh, he gets away. Um, you, Come here. yeah, Come here, puny uh, human. You you feel a pretty a pretty decent tinge in your hand as you take two points of damage as he stabs you in the arm with a dagger. Oh, oh geez. Enough with the horse. And he's delay. like he's like he's like you got what you take what you want and leave. Oh. Uh, Tell us where, what are we looking for? <laughs> <laughs> we just want to talk oh, to him. Bring him over here. Let's talk to him. Just okay, we just want to talk. Kaya, we'll say, uh, Alvini, come here. We just want to talk to you. We're looking for a, a sensitive, uh, something you're carrying in your caravans, a shipment. What is it, that god flesh? The god flesh is the potential thing, yeah. He, he kind of yeah. like, uh, it takes a second, and he's like, you see, him, you kind of hear him scrapping around in there, and you see him like pull out like uh, more barn. You can see through the window him pull out like a piece of paper, uh, like a scroll, and he like shoves it through like the little part of the door is open, and he like like he's kind of expecting him to grab it here. This like he's he's offering it okay. there. Okay, he's offering I just, that paper to us. Yeah, I just grab it. Okay, you look and I, it. I just like wave it around to you guys. You wave yeah. it around. <laughs> <laughs> I got something! Yeah. <laughs> I got uh, the thing. I, I kind of back up and I just open it up just to okay. just see what it is. Uh, you, initially, you kind of look at it and like it, it doesn't look like it just look like a bunch of numbers and nerd shit to you. Mm -hmm. um, but you start seeing that you're pretty sure it's like a uh, manifest of what he has in the caravan. I'm gonna walk up at this Although point. Probably not entirely accurate at this point. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. stand up and kind of groan and walk up. I'm gonna walk up to the door while he's waving the, the scroll around, and I'm go. I'm gonna say, "Hi, Vini. Listen, if you don't come out of there and talk to us, I'm going to set fire to this fucking trailer. So why don't you come walking out here right now? Why don't you come talk to us? <laughs> Unless you want to cook in there like a." Like a chicken? Yeah, hot box. I mean, he is, he's pocket. wearing breastplate, so he's already foil wrapped. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hot so pocket. Just, I'm standing, I'm go, standing behind Norovar with a big torch. Like, yeah, I just uh, go, hey, man, uh, hi. They all okay. want to kill you, but we do need to talk to you. And if you don't come out of there, I'm going to set fire to this and watch you burn. So why don't you come out, sit down. All right. Have right. a moment. Yeah, he, he looks to he looks to the the wild the wild eyed gnome on the through the window, and he kind of looks at you. Yeah. Uh, Andrew, he's and, crazy. And more he, and he, he takes his rapier and he throws it on the ground. You hear you guys all hear it kind of go ding 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 ding, and he uh, he kind of like starts like messing with the locks um, and starts pushing on the door. Uh, do you want to help him open the door, Tearless? Because he's like having kind of trouble yeah. push. Okay, you help. Yeah. Just... Door opens up and he kind of stumbles around. He's like he puts his hands up and he's like. You gonna let me walk away from here? It depends on what you say next. Have a seat. All right. He sits on the he sits on the the doorway of the the wagon. I hand the uh, scroll to uh, Norvar okay. too. I'm. Here's the thing, man. I'm tired. I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm a little pissed off. <laughs> They're crazy. I mean, look what they did. <laughs> this, like, they're fucking nuts. I'm not sure I can control them. So it's really important 
that you mind your manners and say exactly what we need to know. He takes a second. I, he's like, aren't you the mugs that was asking for a job yesterday? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Listen, should, should I are, doing, are you doing good cop, bad cop here? Yeah. All right. Here's well, okay. Yeah. Should I come over and like rough them up? Oh, you don't have to you yet. You don't have to yet. Around. You'll see the moment. And um, then you'll tell me, yo, go get a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your real friend. <laughs> oh, I, I have a bit for you guys. You'll see. Uh, so here's the deal, man. I got a lot of questions. We have a lot of questions. So why don't you start explaining what you just handed my uh, equestrian friend and you start talking about what you're doing here. And if you, if you insult my intelligence, I'm going to walk away and sit down. And I'm going to let the three of them use you as a kickball. So why don't you explain to us Interesting. what the fuck you're doing and how you're doing it before I get angry? He, he thinks that he's like, look, I, I'm just taking the stuff up the road to the coast. Next town over, big old trade. I, I, you guys are asking for some specific stuff here. I, I gave you the manifest for yeah. the, the caravan I, I don't know how accurate it's gonna he kind of looks at the carnage out in the field for like the last like two miles strewn about and he's like he's like i don't know like how accurate it's gonna be now but yeah i just you know i feel like there's so much more you can tell me yeah the thing's not on the on the list either yeah i i feel like i feel like you're reflecting why don't you explain <laughs> to me how you got involved with this god flesh, what it is, and what you're doing with it, and who are you bringing it to? Your turn. <laughs> god flesh, he's like, I'd be a maniac to carry that with me. I ditched it. Got a whole, I, got, it. I got a big request for a little bit, and I ditched it. So Liar! Did you? Yeah. Well, no, he's like, I sold it. I sold, I sold it to the, the, the people that wanted it. They didn't want much, but they wanted a little bit. I got it to them. You got it to them. Who and where to start? <laughs> I think you guys know where. It was uh, where we all met up there. back in, That's where uh, you brought it? To the city? Yeah, I'll be honest. It's an it's in Giannis. I, I sold it to some buyers. There was a middleman. Um... Your uh, your little friend was was involved in it too, but he's gone now. My friend, who's my friend? Moel. Moel. Uh, Moel, guys, Moel. Of course, the bird. Yes, yes, the late Moel. <laughs> um, <laughs> that dumb put some respect asshole. on his name. Yeah. yeah. Uh, his here's name the deal. Moel. Moel's late classic Moel. You, you know, classic Moel. <laughs> Never forget his toes. Listen. <laughs> uh, okay. What is this stuff? What do you know about it? It's like it's 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 the bleed off of that that thing that came to Calth so many years ago. Just little mm. bits of it. There's not much of it left, from my understanding. But they didn't need much. Why you? The hell, it is. And I'm not gonna ask. But the price is right. Why you? What were you? Uh, price? How about his life? You just you were just lucky. Lucky, you guess. To... I'm known to be able to get things. I have connections. Mm-hmm. Of a mm-hmm. trader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, who who did you give it to? There was an in between. Uh, yeah, if you say the word, if you say vague words, I'm gonna get real dead. tired and walk away from this conversation. It was, like, so. it was a, it was kind of a dead drop situation. Uh, but I can tell that, you, they had power, or some sort of, they definitely had arcane power. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Those are the worst kind. Who? I need a name. <laughs> I don't know. The, 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 it's like, look, word on the street is that there's been a, uh, there's been some shakeups. Uh, far to the west, out in the wastelands, I'm seeing. Pe- I saw some people around here that uh, they usually don't come around here unless they're uh, looking for something or looking to get away. Right, oh, yeah. right. And they're I think that's probably my, that was probably my buyer, but I don't know their names. I love how you somehow managed to make a whole deal, and yet you have no idea with who and no idea with how. It's all vague. It's all like the buy. This, the he, says, he, kind of goes, he puts his hand tired. up. He puts his hand up and he says, 
I'm gonna grab something to show you. Oh, you better I'll follow be careful him. Careful with what you're about to do. You can't follow him, too. That's your centaur. You can't go into the. Yeah, you can't oh, follow him, man. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna fit, dude. Hey, Morbarn, <laughs> will you do me a favor and kill this man if he does anything yeah. weird? All right, so Thank Morbarn. You. Morbarn. <laughs> I, I, I think it's the bartender at the brothel. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> let's let's say the. Dis- yeah. I- Let's that save the debate scary. until we're not in front of the, the merchant. Yeah, don't Thank don't you. argue in front of the children. <laughs> That's oh, not out loud again. Damn it. Yeah, I can hear you, Morbarn. Just Classic kill him if he Morbarn. does something. Okay. Classic <laughs> Morbarn. <laughs> so um, yeah, I don't like the new Morbarn, I like the classic. The uh, <laughs> so you, you go on in with him and you have your weapon drawn and he's like he kinda like you see him kinda look at you and he is like he doesn't really want to do it, but he does it. He kind of pushes like a like one of the panels and then kicks like the bottom floor, and this thing kind of pops out of the the sidewall. Oh shit! And he mm. pulls out this um, uh, pretty good sized uh, I don't know like like it looks like a it looks like a safety security like a security deposit box kind of pulls mm. out, and uh, he 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 hand he picks it up with both hands. He starts walking back towards the exit. Nothing shady. Like he's just going to show you what he's, he's. He'd rather show you than tell you. Okay. And he takes it and he opens it up and it's got some uh, sizable gems in there. Oh, hmm. uh, is this the bribe now? No, this up. is him. He's like, that's what they paid me for it. I didn't ask questions. Well, so run the jewel, but let's go strip him down. <laughs> Who? I don't know. It was they had like my, the best I saw was one of my men, one of my guys back uh, in town said the stuff just kind of picked itself up and walked off. I I don't know. What? Oh, this. You know, I really want to believe you, but what you're giving me right now means I walk away with very little other than the fact that we have destroyed a merchant caravan so you're gonna have to do better than that otherwise i'm going to set right. fire sorry to sorry Norvar. i i I'm, I'm i'm coming in there break his finger out of the shit okay. yeah all right i i, I grab oh, him see the natives are getting restless then, i told you oh, and no. then bam all i right. give him the, the dwarven uh dumac all right so you, 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 you smash his head you smash his head in the thing or oh yeah okay oh yeah he does it, it's pretty easy uh, oh. yeah, you got that right. He's like, I don't know. He's like, there, there's some, there's folks in town though that like you could talk to. They, they probably know more than I do. I was, I was just doing the deal. They probably watched yeah. it. Alright, hit deal. him again. Who did you do the deal with? You have he, a name. He definitely looks like he's barely keeping consciousness. Like on that side. Alright, well, I'll, I'll stop hitting him now. Hit the pliers. <laughs> Maybe okay. yeah, just break a break a finger or something. Alright. <laughs> He, tear off uh, his mustache. Tear off his mustache. <laughs> give trophy. me the give me the shaving yeah. cream and the knife. Just like just this, is my, this is my trophy. Yeah, rip that thing off. Yeah, just rip it off. There, he's I'll like, add it. He's I'll like, add it to uh, my cod piece. He's like, go. He's like, uh, I'll be honest. He's like, talk to. Uh, he's like, talk to uh, Nagi in town. Nagi will know. Oh, oh. Nagi. Yeah, Nagi. He, he runs. He's local. He's on. He's on my take. He's a local uh, uh, a guild member. Mind you, that scene in the casino. Guild member of what guild? It's, yeah, what guild? It's a thieves guild of some sort. I, I don't know much more about it than that. Oh. And he's the one that brought you this deal that set this up. He he knew about it. He was okay with it. We ran it by him first. Mm-hmm. But, Should we ask him about um, people I was about transporting? To eat, yeah. Transporting people like wizards. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Have you uh, transported any people in and out of the the um, the place? No, no. It's like I, but I heard the folks that bought this were new in town. Just got there right. and were very motivated. And as you, you can know tell, so much more than you thought you did. Where do you have any idea of where those people are in that town? Do, where you where did you bring these? The, where did you bring Godflesh? Where did you drop that off? I told where, you it was, a, it, was a, it was a double dead drop situation. What's your shoe size? <laughs> I, he's all custom. He's, <laughs> <laughs> good answer. Perfect. Good answer. They're custom. Perfect. <laughs> uh, well, you might get buried in them, so keep talking. 
Anything else you can give us about where this? What's that? Anything else that you can tell us about where you got this, where this stuff went? I need to know more details, man. I I appreciate Nagi. That's a good start. I knew some folks out on the the coast that that had access. They talked about it, but there wasn't much of it left. A lot of it got snatched up by uh, Svelte Hamir, one of the wizard academies uh, far to the the other side of the ocean, and a few other places took it, but I know that Zahasha's people were were trying to get it too, but this was a high demand Mm -hmm. situation. Profits were astronomical. How much does the hosh get of it? You know, I I don't know. I mean, you're you're asking you're basically asking for twenty years of like financial transactions amongst a very large lich. <laughs> like he wouldn't know. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, I understand. Like, yeah. That that he definitely that would be a stretcher to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I'm just I'm, I'm he's like I don't know. That, but I don't want to be around if they're using it. I don't want to be around. Mm. No. Speaking of that, should we just mm-hmm. take a well, out? Yeah. Do you want me to use yeah. my finishing wrestling gladiator move now? <laughs> well, I mean, it's a you know, tombstone, dude. Yeah, it's a our tombstone. <laughs> uh, so I also I look at them getting restless, and I go, "Listen, man, I'm trying really hard to be a better person. You know, generally speaking, <laughs> I'm, and I'm not always known for being the most patient. I tend to react badly, and I've tried to be better." If there's anything else you can tell us that will help me feel like I'm doing a better job of being a good person and holding back the, these howling monkeys that want to tear you apart, <laughs> I would Sounds really like you're in a review meeting because I don't have a lot. Uh, like, I don't, he's I'm like, more referring wanna... to Morbarn. <laughs> I'm actually referring to Morbarn. This is the most dangerous gnome here. He uh, he take <laughs> he's like he pulls out a. Uh, he, he closes up the, the security box he has um, and it relocks and he uh, he says yeah let me uh, why don't I give you guys a parting part parting gift and uh, I'll me you know, and let my boy my buddies go here let my uh, soldier my uh, guards go here and we'll figure out what to do for, for ourselves from here on out mm-hmm. but uh, I'll uh, mm-hmm. Figure four, hoof lock. Let me do it. What you do in the next few minutes, <laughs> I lean to him and I go, I hate to say this, but what you do in the next few minutes is going to determine what you and your guards are going to do, uh, how you're going to handle the next situation. All for right. He, he goes and uh, he puts the, he takes the security do- box, like he's going to put it back where, where he had it. And uh, he puts it back, and then he he goes over and grabs like a um, on top of one of the tables. You can see it's kind of it's not it's not in bad shape, but like you can see he has like a coffer, and he uh, he puts it down on the uh, kind of leans down, and puts it on the edge of the uh, the doorway to the the back of his wagon. I hope that I hope that'll make up for any issues you've had with my uh, my apprehensions here. I mean, honestly, we can just. Take him out. I mean, I don't know what <laughs> he's trying. I guess he's trying to like earn some type of trust. Or... Blood. Yeah, more barn wants blood. And he's true. like, if you just want, he, he, uh, yeah. So you guys are kind of like, like edging towards, like you know, geeking him and his, his his men. And he's like, look, I'm gonna tell you, you can have this. You could take all my wealth right now. You could kill us all, no problem. But, yeah, but we we're know. gonna, but you're gonna lose a connection. He might be a yeah. You might be a useful in the future. I mean, his men. We don't need to kill him. His men are just working. Okay, people. listen. Here's the deal. At some point in time, we're gonna come to you, and we're gonna have. We're gonna need some things. We're gonna need some information. And when we do, I expect you to be far more polite than you have been up until now. You understand? Be cool, Avini. Yeah. Very really cool. So, what's your what's your name? What's your name, partner. Yeah. Don't worry about it, Amin. We'll find you when we need you. My name is Homer. You must remember. I break one of his fingers. That's for stabbing my hand. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I stop him. <laughs> uh, it's already happened. You, you can call me more barn. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I didn't. <laughs> no, uh, let's uh, let's open up the thing that he's because he's yes. obviously buying us off. So uh, it's a it's yeah. a coffer full of gold coins. 
Ooh. You're estimating Oops. probably about like 500 gold coins or so. Okay, that's Lots fine. We don't that's need a whole lot of sherry. sherry. Yeah, yeah. We don't need to take him for everything he's worth, but it's like we don't. Right, looks like listen. Looks like we're going back to that place, the Mar Barn, okay. and they're gonna, they're gonna give us some service and sherry that's, and yeah. give us some information. Because you don't go into a brothel without <laughs> a lot of money, okay? Only a noob would do that. We only went in with four gold pieces. <laughs> um, I walk over, I gesture to the rest of them, I was like, do we want to like fix this up or help them out or send no. out anybody to... We set fire to all the caravans. We, no, we leave them in the desert. To- he just paid, he's paying us 500 to like let him not like be ruined and then offering his services for the future. He has his life. life. Show no mercy. Yeah, he has come his on, life. Okay, yeah, turn down the murder from 11. Like, like this is a, a, a well-established merchant. I don't necessarily want to walk around with a warrant on my head. We've already killed enough people. We leave him one caravan, we burn You've the rest. You've been threatening to murder him. This is entire time. <laughs> it's called That's interrogation, No, What, he did what do you me. think I'm doing here? He shot me with arrows, Norvar. I almost you. died. His men shot you. His men shot me with arrows that he commanded. Not Look, at this point, <laughs> it's just business. Now it's business, OK? okay? Right. Right. You kill right. him. It's done. It's over. Now we're just doing business. So I suggest well, we then, take the money and we, we let him five of the I caravans on fire. Five? <laughs> And I want those bolts of fabric because I'm making a flag. <laughs> you, I'll buy you bolts of fabric with 500 gold pieces you just fucking gave us. Okay. Can I keep one we, of the men? Tell you what, <laughs> as a fun. gesture, <laughs> as a gesture of kindness, why don't you guys gather up the shit? Let's gather up the shit and put them in one place because we're going to use this guy in the future. He paid for us. We're, because this is over. The least we can do is get his shit and put his caravan together and then he can take care of the rest. All right. Who's, just real Fair quick, enough. who's grabbing the coffer of money? I'm going to add it to your sheet for you. So. I mean... I, mean, I, have, the, I, I have the saddlebags of holding. I could yeah, that would be the yeah. All right. So... I'll put it on the transfer sheet. Yeah. All right. Mr. Well, Mr. Money Bags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. Avini, uh, we still have the manifest, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, he, is, he's not sure how accurate it's going to be at this point now because, like, it's definitely like, <laughs> like a lot of this stuff's gone. So, yeah, inventory this is going to be up. their activity tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything on that sheet that we should be aware of? Can we look it uh, over? He's like, it's just general goods moving in and out. Weapons, maybe. Uh, there's some uh, raw materials in there. Um, some uh, mostly trade goods, rice, beans, mm-hmm. stuff hey. like that. <laughs> uh, beans, beans. All right. I go up to Vini. I was like, "Is there anything else you can tell us uh, before we?" Anything else we should know moving forward with these people? We are, understand, we're looking for particular people. Well, and if everything I've heard is true, they're dangerous. We're dangerous. <laughs> Come on. There's a, uh, there's different types of danger. Mm. Yours is, uh, he kind of looks, he looks over the mess and the dead bodies and everything that's strewn about. And he says, your kind of danger is easy to understand. Yeah, I get you. That's All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jerry's muted. Uh, sorry, what's up? Oh, you were muted. Sorry, I thought you were talking to us. No, no. I was talking okay, to my I was like, because it looked really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Um, anyway, continue. So I guess we head back to town. Uh, um, yeah, I, like I, I tell him, listen, um, yeah. He's like, do me a favor. starting to. Oh, are you going to head back to town? Go ahead. Go, go ahead. No, what were you about he's to like, say? If you're heading back to town, do me a favor. And he takes out like a bag of coins. He takes out a bag that has coins in it, hands it to you and says, can you send a dozen men my way to help out? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'll do it. I promise. I tell him, I like. I promise. I'll do it. Said you had me. Fair enough. From the, Very nice. Uh, from a uh, hundred or 12, 12 men from the caravan place. Yeah, no problem. 
Yeah, yeah. Like, there's plenty out there. Find we'll, the we'll skinniest man to send them. We'll we'll send you some people. Yeah. Uh, sure. From the brothel. <laughs> <laughs> I paid for 300 gold pieces worth of work. I'm gonna get 300 gold pieces worth of work. <laughs> you, I really need to get a bag of holding so you don't hold the money. Um, <laughs> uh, I was just uh, thinking. Uh, I'm still a little worried. This is me internally. I'm still a little worried about mentioning our names to a caravan, a legal, a mostly legal caravan to be just obliterated. But we, we seem to be. Game. We need a party. We game. seem to know stuff. Uh, well, we need a gang but, name, so we can just tell them like mm-hmm. who our gang is. Yeah. You know? I just tell. I'll tell them. Listen, we'll be in touch, Avini. We'll find you, and uh, but uh, pleasure doing business with you. So we'll send those people out for you as soon as we get back. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, you're <laughs> and I look at the guys and like, let's, let's go. I think we got enough here. I look at Zogcha and I go, imagine your cod piece is ready. Got that right. <laughs> got <some> mustache. About time. <laughs> on, on my way out, I go to one of his uh, one of his henchmen and I'm like, you got some down here. And like I flick his, flick his yeah, nose up. Uh, yes. Okay. And I'm like, sick burn. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, Albini, as you guys kind of like start walking away, Albini like pulls a blade and starts cutting them loose. You know, he's like, yeah, I mean, sure. just like a, like a like a knife, you know, nothing big. And there, he kind of like pats on the back and everything. And you're you're guessing these guys might get well compensated. Mm. So, but we'll right. need to rest up when we get back to town and and put some bandages on ourselves. <laughs> So you guys, yeah, you guys head back to town, uh, and you get back to uh, Oyanis probably around like it's like four or five. It's about five p.m. now, getting kind of late. Dinner time. Dinner time. Yeah, it's, it's beer o'clock somewhere. I, I do keep my word, and I go to the caravan place, okay. and I talk to a manager there, and I, I give them the coins. Uh, All right. And so you I go, say, yeah, like, you talk to a guy. He kind of handles it, and he's like, oh, "Yeah, Alvini. Yeah, he have a, he's like, did he have an accident up, up the road or something, or what?" Yes, he did. <laughs> Awful situation. <laughs> Apparently, one of the into the rock, to... and that was it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just been real bad. It's like hit a rock and like ten people died. <laughs> Awful. It's a hell of a rock. Yeah, no, it was. <laughs> All right, so you you go ahead and uh, manage to uh, pay pay you know give one of the carrier managers. He's kind of setting up uh, a group of folks to go out there. Um, you cut back into town. Things are kind of mellowing out and everything like that, too. Uh, do you guys think where you want to go specifically? Uh, yeah. I'd like to go back to our HQ and heal and rest yeah. for a minute. I'm pretty fucked up. All right. You yeah. head back to the uh, uh, Quanix bar, known as my father's place. Quanix mm-hmm. uh, sees you walk on in. He's like, gee, he's like, what the hell happened? We hit a rock. <laughs> We had a discussion with the caravan that was, uh, had some information, but they had to be convinced to talk to us. Yeah. Can we do a round? Yeah, no, no problem. Got, no problem. And uh, he, he pours up some of his, his uh, ale for y'all. Um, can we pay him uh, out of our coffer? Can we pay him back the money he loaned us? Oh, yeah, yeah. how much did he loan you guys? I can't remember. 40 gold pieces. 40 gold pieces? Okay, cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're right down. Nice. I'll pull it off of a um, uh, Michael sheet real quick here, and uh, you want to give him, you want to give him a little tip, give him like forty five just for good measure. Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm like sore and like drinking. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah whatever. Forty five. No, money has no meaning to me right now. It's all about comfort. <laughs> um, just hurt. So yeah, so you you, you pay him up. All right. He and he brings out meals for you guys and everything too, and uh, you guys can definitely benefit from a short rest. Okay. Um, nice. If he, if benefit he, from a long rest. I'm at eight pounds. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys don't, long rest, if you guys don't have any plans for the evening, you guys can certainly long rest for out here and chill out. Okay. Yeah. Let's long yeah, rest. So you guys, you guys spend the night at my father's place, uh, the which is a bar for those uh, out the audience. Uh, <laughs> I'm not actually going to my, my father's house. Um, but uh, so I can list as a long rest now. Yeah. If you guys want, to, and the next will be the next day then. Okay. okay, but nothing nothing of substance happens at the bar that night. People just kind of come in and have some meals. Uh, my father's place you're definitely noticing is a much more low key place. It's kind of like uh, the cheers of the town. You know, it's it's everyone knows your name. It's just kind of easy going, and no one's like getting rowdy and fighting everything too. So, but um, 
Yeah, I'll uh, put the long rest up for. Uh, I, got, I got you, Andrea. Anybody else wants to do it? I can just do it for him real quick too. I am. Uh, I'll do mine. Centaur. I'll do yours for you, man. You got it. Yeah. Thanks, man. Uh, and you get your level of exhaustion gone too. Very nice. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, you would also get your, yeah, you'd also lose a level of exhaustion here too, which would be nice. At some point when I get up, um, before we get going, I want, or at some point I want to stop and get medical supplies. I tell everyone I okay. have a feeling I'm going to need it with this group. I was surprised you didn't, you didn't go through the manifest and try to steal some, but, uh, I thought about it, but I'm trying to be a better person, John. I know. Oh, hey. Honestly, you're like <laughs> the only person that's being good in our party. Yeah. I know. I'm, you know how many gold and pieces I'm trying, you saved? <laughs> I'm trying to be a better person. I'm not a better person, but I'm trying to be. That's, you, that's like, my yeah. character's thing. You guys, are all so party is. you guys are teaching me to be a better. I have never had friends before, so I've only been a gladiator in the pit. Yeah. So I'm just learning from all you. Yeah, well, I've never been not a son of a bitch before, so we're both on a learning path. Yeah, Tia, this, the one thing you noticed too is that like that was actually kind of a new experience for you. You've never actually fought in the open like that kind of a pitch battle open. Usually, you're used to like the arena. Yeah. Um, so that kind of a sprint was new for you, You've, and you it definitely took a toll on your on your body. We'll say, yeah, tearless. Yeah. Yeah. I was a trident, but it felt yeah. great exactly. running in the wild yeah. with the wind in my hair. Yeah. Yes. No, that really escalated quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and I pointed Zogchen <laughs> in Morborn. Yeah, I was just a painter. Hey, hey, dude. Thank you, Beer yeah. Jesus. Sorry, someone hosted us. That's very nice. I appreciate it, man. Nice. Um, so yeah, you, you definitely kind of like pull it together a little bit, feel a little bit better, uh, spend the, spend the night at the tavern, um, yeah. sleep in either the basement or up top if you want to, uh, you know, Quanix definitely give you run of the place to some degree. Uh, he has his own quarters upstairs, but he's, and he's kind of like, I'd really like to keep that private for myself. Um, mm. you guys are welcome to sleep at the, in the bar and everything, or the, the cellar. The barn? Oh yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a tavern. They have bars and taverns. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you guys rest up and wake up the next morning, feel a little bit better, uh, definitely richer, which is nice. Yes. And, um, what do you guys want to do? Uh, I'm getting my cod piece, please. Yes. Okay. This All wondrous right. piece. I want to see this, this craft work. When he goes and does that, I'm going to buy medical oh, supplies. So, all right. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go as auction and to admire it. Dominic, I want, I want like a full like spinal <laughs> tap moment where like what you gave the person who made your first yes. like smaller. It's, it's all small. Like, it's like oh, a mini Stonehenge. No. Yeah. It's a skull. Please no. They can't make oh, it smaller. Oh, yeah. It's a skull. God damn it. Too bad. Okay, so it is right. bespoke. So yeah. let me uh, let me deal with Dominic's it medical supply. Smoke. Okay. Issue here uh, as he as he attempts to uh, get PPE in town here. Um, <laughs> so let me see real quick here. That is uh, he's me for trying to keep this party alive. It's no, I want my cod piece. Fuck it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, got how many how many healers kits did you want to get, uh, Dominic? And you want to? I'd like to get a couple it? healing potions and a couple kits. Okay. I'm basically the medic of this. I'm gonna group, get. Group, I'm gonna. So. <laughs> well, the one kit has like. Okay, go ahead and add add a, a medical a healing kit to your thing. And do you use what basic healing potions? Or do you want to get like? Uh, yeah, potions? that's okay. fine. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, get, I don't want to spend too much. You manage to get a healer's kit, and uh, we'll say three uh, of the common healing potions. Uh, all said and done, runs you 160 gold pieces. Which I'll take Damn, off. Boy. Well, how, how much? How many gold? How many healing? Wait, how many? You got potions? one healer's Sorry. kit, which yeah. is ten uses, <laughs> and yep. then you got three uh, common potions. I can have your sh and I'm gonna take off uh, the transfer sheet real quick. Yeah, since he's paying for the. That's totally fine. Oh, so, potion of healing, and I'll add three of them. Yep, no three problem. Of them. Yeah, three And a healer's kit. All right, Zogchen. Yes. Do it. <laughs> the, the moment you've been waiting weeks for. Uh, I literally, I literally just like push the door open like in a saloon. Yes. And then mosey in with and that BDE. Like, My cod needs covering, dude. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, I just drop trowel. Like, let's go. Let's do it. Plate me. Um, Plate yeah. me. So, so you walk on in uh, to the this this kind of like uh, I don't know what I would call it, leather worker shop comp like situation. And uh, they, I, I can't remember if they, if they had a name, 
Uh, but you, um, cards are us. Cards are us, and you come on in, and, and the uh, the work, the craftsman comes out, the craftswoman comes out, and says, "Yes, welcome back, Mister Chen. We have your uh, piece ready to go. Let's see it. Yeah, fit him. They, they, they produce this uh, <laughs> as, as, they kind of walk, as they kind of walk on back to go retrieve it. I have to say, this uh, skull you're working with is rather unique. I, I've, it was rather difficult to craft, to be honest. But uh, mine, that's, you might have that's ask, why you might have to ask where uh, where you obtained it. And they're, they're not stopping to like they're they're going to get it for you. They're just interested. Yeah, it was at the corner of Nunya and Business. <laughs> mm, I understand. Uh -huh. I understand thoroughly. They produced this rather um, charred, like black and looking skull uh, with that's set up to wrap around your lower bits, if you, if you will. Sure. Um, and you can see that they've kind of rigged it where the jaw is a tad loose. Um, and it looks like it, as you move, it might chatter a little bit. <laughs> yes. You might get something yes. caught in yeah, there. You can put that chatter to good use. Uh, <laughs> oh man, it's like. Are you gonna? Like how are you gonna sneak around with that shit, man? No, I'm gonna, gonna sneak be... around. Kind yeah, of put a little felt in the corners. It's like those chattery teeth. <laughs> so, and it should have um, it should have like the two daggers. I can put two right. darts. It has the two, two daggers. Behind, it has the two. Uh, it's sheath. They didn't get, they didn't provide the daggers, but it definitely has sheaths. That's okay. okay. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's fine. Really, yeah. Are so you going to add on Moel's toast? It, to it looks, this? looked amazing. Yes, and and you can see that this it's not like um it's not like you know it's, it's bejeweled or anything like that it it is like a blackened skull yeah. with like uh brown leather wrap arounds mm -hmm. uh, it, you know it goes uh, it goes both under and around. And, what? Uh, is that is that like a plus twenty to my AC? No, it's Just because I'm, how I'm gonna, amazing I'm gonna it is. write it up. I'm gonna write it up okay. for you, man. I, I'm gonna have it do. But you have you now have a lich skull cod piece. Uh, you should get and it, it is the dazzle. skull of Jarzok, your former and chatter when I walk. And it chatters when I walk. <laughs> so yeah, to the tavern. It's like the spurs. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you, you are now. You are now yeah. like. You are now like the sex machine in like from Death Till Dawn. You have like right. a conversation <laughs> piece around your your. your so yeah. Oh man, yeah, the weirdest game I've to it. been a part of. We've been waiting for that cod piece for so long. Well, yeah, it's it's been been like storytelling, dude. You got to build it up. You can't just give no. That was a that's what that's session. what was great. It's just like <laughs> intimidation like, factor. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's It's storytelling. <laughs> I give him a, I give him an extra gold piece, and I, and I literally flick it to him. Okay, and they grab and I it. I grab it. Yeah. And you thumbs up. And I'm like. And when when I walk out, I literally, I, again, I push the doors open, and I, and I'm and I'm walking kind of like you know. Yeah. Leaning back. Leaning back. Out. Showing it off. All right, so you're really showing it off here. You're you're taking it for a stroll. Um, it's not as comfortable as you were hoping, but it, it, it is definitely going to do what you want. Fashion to do. never is, homie. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Beauty is pain, ladies and gentlemen. That's um, right. So <laughs> you you roll out with your with your new lich skull cod piece. I will come up with a name for it. Probably uh, the Jarzakian cod piece or something like that. That works. Um, we'll figure it out, and I'll, I'll I'll put it on your character sheet for you at a, at a future point. Um, yeah. So you you kind of you walk on out. Uh, you feel pretty good by yourself. Uh, you know you don't have you definitely do. You have the opposite of buyer's remorse. I don't know what <laughs> but it's the opposite. Uh, Your charisma is gonna get bumped. Yeah, I think it smells though. Like for the record, it smells really bad. It's, it's not. It doesn't smell bad, but it it it's, I mean it's a clean skull. I mean it's a, it's an yeah, old skull. Yeah, it's a clean skull, but it's just like, airing out. It's just airing yeah, out. It's not, there's something about it that almost seems. Enchanted. Badass, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking we should do something with Moel's toe that we can. No, no, no. just to remember him. Fun. That's what centaurs do. We keep a piece and we remember him. We care and we we mourn for them. I still have his toe, so we should do something with it. You gonna try to make a cod piece out of it? <laughs> Man, too small, baby. Going to need, need, a, bigger need a bigger knock toe. Knock off, knock off, lich skull. It's not genuine lich, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'll just genuine lich. Genuine lich. Genuine lich. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, 
You guys run your errands. Did uh, Morborn or Tearless have any errands they want to run? Hmm. Uh, I think we do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. We have, we have somewhere to visit. We right. have, we have Can I take that visit. money from this is, you guys? By the way, this is like that scene in Pretty Woman where you guys, you know, they think Big you're mistake. poor and then you. Huge. And then you just like. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure you kicked us out last time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Morbarn and Tearless both reapproach the Lunar Fair. Uh, this is so amazing. And I'm flick coin. Like, flick, 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 flick. Just, just going yeah, to throw the up coins, in the air. Make the coins rain. jingle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, make, it, make it rain coins that weigh, like, you know, a lot. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you, you, um, you, you guys go on Lunar Fair, and the uh, host uh, sees you as, as you come on in. And you cropped says, us to that place on your way out last time. Oh, it's he says, Oh, it's, it's you again. <laughs> um, how, how have uh, have how have you been? Have things gotten better for you for the two of you? <laughs> how fortunes have changed. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the goddamn cherry out. Yeah, yeah. all right, a bottle each. Yeah. <laughs> We sort of take us to the parlor. Yeah, oh, sure. Sort of he, he, uh, he he looks at you. Uh, do you do you produce money from this time? <laughs> More barn. Ping. Okay. You should be like, no, what we still don't have any guy? money, but fuck you. <laughs> yeah, totally. All right. So yeah, um, you. Uh, <laughs> spa day. We're gonna get a spa day here. That's what we should be doing, right? That's, yeah, polish. yeah. You, you certainly go to the brothel for a spa day, sure. Um, <laughs> I, just, I know you're very new to this. Uh, so you you go on in and uh, you you give them a you give them a gold coin real quick. Uh, I'm gonna start a tally here, guys. Um, and uh, you go on into the uh, parlor. There are several uh, tables there, kind of low to the ground. Uh, you would have to kind of lay down, as it would be tearless. You don't exactly sit. Um, but you can certainly lay down on some pillows, and uh, as they, as you do, uh, uh, the host introduces himself. Says, "Well, I'm Emil, and what might the Lunar Fair bring you today?" Four bar. Fearless. Would... I... Yes. Grapes and sherry. <laughs> oh, no. Very well. Very well. God flesh. <laughs> Have you ever heard of that? Ooh. Okay, so you, yo, you say, yeah, you say it. You say that to him, and he kind of takes a second, and he's like, "We do not deal in that which is forbidden. That that which is so forbidden." Hmm. Understood. That which is an, off an offense to the lunar, the to the moon, and to the gods themselves. A little Jeez. off brand. I get it. <laughs> yeah. That's like, I mean, that's like, you're asking him for like, I want, that's like the, like, God flesh, would be, I don't, I hate to bring it up, but like, it's like, kind of like the equivalent of like asking for adrenochrome, <laughs> like, like you want, like you want like human body parts, like type stuff. Ooh. Like it's, it's pretty extreme. Ooh. It is a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Like the removed body parts of some, <laughs> like, the disembodied body parts. Um, but yeah, he you do uh, manage to. Um, he he does he does look towards tearless and says uh, your request can be uh, obliged. And uh, he he kind of gestures towards like some people that are standing off the side. Uh, you see uh, three women, two men standing there. Uh, they're all scantily dressed, and if they are dressed, they are wearing mostly, um, I would say maybe at best like silks and tulle. Like it's very, it's very doesn't leave a whole lot to the imagination. Um, they yes. are. Uh, there's one of the men is a dwarf. One of the other men is a human. Uh, the women. Uh, one is a halfling. Uh, the other two are half elves. Uh, he says, uh, "May I? Which may I offer to help you today?" Oh, uh, the dwarf seems nice, and the human too. I'll take a half leg. Okay. So the three of them, he says, "I see you have much. We have much business for the day. I understand." And he gestured. He kind of like puts his hand in certain configurations, and they the three of them come over. Um, it's and it's very upset that nobody made a big trouble in little China reference there. 
You're not going to ask uh, for a girl with green eyes. One, Jerry. <laughs> Come on. Uh, he says, uh, he points to the half elf and says, Safrani. Uh, I got that. I got you. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Safrani, Dafina, Oana. You will be. Oana. What? Is that weird? It's a kid movie. <laughs> Oh, you are literally... He knows her! I, I, Done. I, I, I Chen, do you know a lot of that? I am pulling from a, uh, from a list of uh, traditional Macedonian names, okay? So, oh, John, you are describing a situation where a gnome and a centaur are trying to buy whores in a brothel, well, and the name is what stops you and goes, no, is that weird? Anything. No, I didn't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know the name. I was like, is there I have no intention. I have no did I just make it weird with that name? You did. I right, so you are just like, dude, no intention, man. Yeah, we're just having enjoyment. <laughs> no, you, you just want a lot of wait staff. All right, and they yeah. they, yeah. and they, uh, they uh, but Emil, uh, uh, the uh, the host, he says, uh, you have to understand though, for such uh, services to be rendered, we we would need a deposit. Name mm-hmm. your price. Typical. Is, we would request that you begin with the uh, humble sum of uh, 50 gold pieces. Fine. Damn boy. Spare no expense, I quote Jurassic Park. Um, <laughs> I've seen that, that film, sir. Do we, yeah, do we, do we have to begin? Like, is that the thing we have to cite all our, all our little requests? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to get sued. Yes. Spare no expense. Yeah. We can, so, maybe we can talk to these these folks and find out some information more about that's exactly like why. Yes. Yeah. We come here for the sherry and the service. <laughs> <laughs> the sherry Nothing and the service. Else. things. People yeah. tell people things. Mm-hmm. They do. At they do. Brussels. So you go ahead and kind of talk to um, uh, them, and uh, they they produce you the grapes, the sherry, all that kind of stuff. And uh, you have a nice, you know, a, I mean, a really nice time, like, tearless. It kind of reminds you of some of the times you were treated very, very well in the arena, although mm-hmm. you're not used to actually having to pay for anything. Right. Um, so the, uh, as you, kind of, you guys kind of hang out there and have a good time, uh, did you want to try to get information from them, or did you just want to, like, entertain yeah. or just talk to them? Okay. Kind of talk, yeah. We want to find, I mean, just asking them of g- generally about, like, people that come here or you know, sort of uh, the stranger things that have happened in this area or anything they can help us with information-wise. Perhaps um, we can help take them away from this place one day. <laughs> they, they seem to be pretty happy and actually well taken care of. This is definitely a, like a high-end type brothel. Yeah. Um, you guys walked into like the highest end place in town, essentially, with the, <laughs> your first go. Um, but then again, it can only go down from there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um so go ahead, uh, Morbarn or Trouncer, your choice. I'd probably would recommend Morbarn doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, you can make a persuasion check with advantage, Andrea. It's like if you right click on the persuasion check there yeah. and you just hit advantage, you can give us the, uh, see how yeah, you guys kind of like do. A, I'm like a pro, don't make people think I'm not. <laughs> I'm a manager. This is, our, this is our headquarters, <laughs> me and Morbarn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What'd you get? 17. 17. So you take some time to talk to them. Um, they open up pretty well. Uh, the uh, the halfling um, whose name is uh, Oana, she, she definitely kind of tells you about where she's from um, and how she she uh, moved away moved away and, and such and came out here to uh, to this life and finds it, you know, always enjoyed entertaining people, but this is kind of a way to do it and uh, with a level of security. Um, as far and as, and as they go on, you you all definitely notice they take very good care of their people. Uh, mm. This is definitely a family. They feel like a family. Um, and they, I thought you were gonna say this is a family establishment. <laughs> like, damn, family bro. <laughs> Things are getting weird. I bet they exist. Thanks, thanks, Jerry. Oh, I'm um, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, they, it's a, yeah, not it's not a family established for the, for be sure. They but they have a a, a very fa- a familiar uh, type of situation with the, each other here, and they um, 
the reason I want to tell you about that, and uh, you can definitely tell there's a reflection of um, halfling values, but definitely not in a traditional way. So, um, the other ones talk about just coming here and, and finding a life in this, and it, it, it just kind of fell into them, and they feel comfortable. Uh, one of them definitely the uh, the half elf. Uh, I think the, I think it was the male half elf is what you requested. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. So you have, the, you have the dwarf female, the halfling female, and then the uh, the half elf male. Mm -hmm. um, the half elf male is talking about how he's just saving up to. This is kind of a middle ground. He wants to go and get educated uh, across seas, but he's just waiting for his time to save up and such. Uh, um, the dwarf is a little. Um, she seems a uh, little. I don't know. You you would definitely see. Uh, this is a, a moment of recovery for her in her life. Um, she's a, definitely a little bit older than everybody else, but also seems much more akin to uh, making sure your needs are taken care of. As far as information goes about the town, uh, is there anything specific you want to ask them about locally? And as far as our clientele, they say it's high end clientele that comes through. Or we can always keep them as like our contacts too, you know, when we come back or if they yeah. do see anything, yeah. right? No, for sure. But I like the idea of establishing mm -hmm. like, hi. How's it going? <laughs> mm -hmm. We're, we can be patrons. We can help you get your education across seas. You trade us for information, that kind of thing. Especially the old gal. She knows a lot. <laughs> yeah. Maybe um, she doesn't want to be here. Been I mean, around. But was it more, was there any kind of information about like local ongoings you'd want to know? I would like to know, if, have you heard of someone with a mm. fantastical god piece? <laughs> the whole town knows now. They haven't been outside yet, but uh, <laughs> they've heard. Yeah, you hear. Yeah, you hear. Zog Chen is walking around town like oh, crotch first, screaming, "I am so great!" Oh, we start spreading uh, rumors about that. The your friend piece. must fear that man. Yeah, yeah. They they kind of it's, it's interesting. Hear little chattering of teeth. He wears a great codpiece to hide his small manhood. We just start spreading rumors. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you know. Jokes on him. We'll play a little fun with our friends on Chen. <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, <laughs> all right. So yeah, you you, you talk about this, this cool cod piece, and they they're intrigued. They listen to it. You talk about this cool cod. The idea of fashion. They ask, they one of them does ask. Uh, the the door woman does ask. Uh, where did the skull come from? Corner of Nunya and yeah. <laughs> we bought into a town called Nunya next to this province called Business. Next to the city of Business. Apparently, yeah. got it from this town, Nunya. It's crazy. Yeah. I, I don't remember it. going there. But. Very far away. Hard to find. I see. Um, well, so the hours pass, uh, and you guys drink and eat very well and are treated very well. Uh, at some point, uh, your tab has run up. Uh, do you guys want to throw more coin at it, or how? And they're they're rather subtle about it. Um, yeah. They start Should talking we, about how they have other things to attend to. Should we be on our way? Yeah, uh, we get the we we're getting the vibe, dudes. I'll wait yeah. for one of you to be like, no, but I think that one really likes me though. <laughs> <laughs> I've really bonded with the. Uh... With yeah, them all, I, I, actually. Think, I think there was something Somebody there. Somebody wants their the pile of pillows back. Yeah. I've made no, they're going to wash them. <laughs> I've never had so many friends before, so this is, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, 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 yeah. it's time to kill. Right. Okay, back back to the uh, so, back to my uh, father's place. Norvar, you, you notice uh, Zog Chen roaming the streets in his grandeur, <laughs> uh, and you see uh, Tyrolis... And more barn emerge in their um, drunk. They're, they're fairly drunk when they come out, and they definitely reek of sherry and grapes, along with kind of a uh, perfume my, of sorts. There's definitely hold my mane while I barf, more barn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to get up on his back and hold his mane <laughs> yeah. as he like, barfs and everything. Yeah, uh, I look over at Zogcha and I was like, and I go, normally I'd be annoyed they spent the money on this, but frankly, I'm just sort of impressed and proud. <laughs> like they finally got that sherry. Uh, yeah. And, and then I moved the, the skull. <laughs> <laughs> That's All right. great. 
So all you guys right, well, uh, everyone feels pretty good. Everyone's like, all right, I feel better stocked. I'm in better shape. Uh, put the you put the stuff behind you from the day. Um, you're still you guys are still a little dirty looking, but it's not too bad. Uh, you kind of you kind of you kind of lived into it uh, a little bit. So uh, what's the um, what's the plan of action here? Yes, we need to start know. looking what, what? up who Nagani is. Mm-hmm. Nagi? Okay. Nagi, Nagi. Oh, the local at the Thebes Guild. Yeah. So, how do we? Okay. Oh, but actually, maybe Morbon would be able to know a little bit of that because she knows how to read a uh, Thieves' cans. I think you know, uh, like, Morbon is a man. Sure oh, I mean, he, yes, yeah, he, yeah, Morbon is a man. The gnome knows knows the uh, language of the thieves and the rogues. Can we talk about how sick that picture is right there? That's awesome. Yeah, like, right. Of Andrea, yeah. yeah, it looks great. It's like right out of like looks like almost seventy style comic book art. Um, mm-hmm. So we have to do some investigation. I think more barn is our VIP on that. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Just a little. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Three more one. Oh. Meanwhile, I tell Zogchen, oh, you must visit the, the Lunar Fair. They're expecting you. And I kind of like, I'm just like saying, they know all about your con piece. Let's sort of give them that. <laughs> and I just go post some ports. <laughs> all right. So, that's wow. be me, that ground. It's, I know it's you. No, it's it looks cool. like you. Right. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah we, had a, we had some art done for our band. And... That looks sick. You looked really good. I'll, yeah. I'll send you the link of the guy who did it. He's fucking. Do you know those heavy metal Valentines? Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. that guy. I didn't talk about. Yeah. yeah. That's my friend Brian. Okay. So he's done like. Oh, nice. Like yeah, he's good. We'll post a link up in the chat here, and we can. <laughs> uh, so, the so where's the uh, so where are you going to bring the investigation? Now you do have a name. This guy named Nagi. Mm-hmm. Uh, to Ooh, Nagi. In the in the Thieves Guild uh, of some sort. Uh, they might be able to drop that and get a little bit of. Uh, help on that but what um what else did you guys want to kind of do all right so we have that lead oh we still have the ledger we didn't find any we nothing we can study well, it's worthless i mean that, that caravan's okay. way out in the field now yeah i mean use that as toilet paper yeah, well <laughs> we should honestly look into i mean unless anybody needs anything from uh from around, if anyone needs else to go shopping for anything, we should start thinking about how we're going to approach this Nagi and mm-hmm. get more information because we need to track down these people. I wonder if our, uh, what about the bugbears, our friends? The untamed? Yes, the untamed. Perhaps they can help the us. The untamed. The untamed. Perhaps they can help us uh, locate. Uh, they probably want money, but. We have that now as well. Well, not as much since somebody had <laughs> some fun in a brothel. Yeah, bought a cod piece. Uh, that wasn't with that money. I need to be groomed. <laughs> that was uh, the money we borrowed. <laughs> yeah, he well, does need to be groomed. I mean, it is like mandatory uh, yes. statement. Unless you want, you want to save the Ty- coin and you can do it for me. Tron- <laughs> Tron- <laughs> yeah, so- no, Tyrus, if you need to get cleaned up, why don't you go ahead and do that, and then we can meet up after you get groomed, and we could look into, um, Morbarn, are you in the Thieves Guild? Are you? You read Thieves Guild? Oh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. You're not in the in, in, in this guild. Uh, you've never been involved in the Thieves Guild, but you certainly think you could probably, like, vouch in some way. <laughs> vouch. Morbarn, vouch you. All right. Um, I, man, you guys I, are mean. I know. I just, I mean, I'm I'm always like. I, I believe in Morbarn. Oh, good. I believe in Morbarn, too. I just believe that Morbarn will do whatever Morbarn wants to do. This is this for is the, true. For the greater good of the gang. <laughs> for the greater good of the gang or the greater good of the sherry? Oh, no. How are they different? Oh, I'm around. <laughs> Touche. That, that would be my battle cry. All right. So. I guess Tyrellius Tyrellius wants to the transfer wants to get cleaned up. Oh, I've been groomed. I'm sorry. He's been groomed. That's been. what the yeah, money actually, was for. Uh, both both the trouncer, both uh, Tyrellius and Morborn come out actually smelling nice and look pretty like well kept. Oh, Better than they ever so had. Dignified. Well, we got to think about how we want to approach the thieves guild because I don't want to necessarily piss off a huge guild and have them come after us. But at the same time, we need to get information on these people. As a fact. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, you know, do we do this light touch or do we do this hard touch? 
Oh. Probably light touch, right? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Not with Zogchen. Well, Zogchen is like, well... Well, we could, I mean... I'll just look pretty in the corner. Maybe some of us could go visit the Untamed, and then maybe some of us can go with uh, more barn to explore the Thieves Guild part of it. I don't know. I mean, oh. you guys could, yeah, you, you guys definitely have a connection with the Untamed. You might be able to ask them about what they know. Yeah, I... Th- I think that's the best. Let's see if we can get some information on who Nagi is and where this is. Let's see if we can hit up the Untamed. Okay. okay. It's. I mean, it's, it's middle of the day, so you guys have. Uh, you know, like it's like two p.m. in the afternoon. You guys uh, definitely have, without an issue, trying to get approach to them, go find their. You know, you know where they live and everything. Okay. Um, all right. We'll so you guys there. roam up and come on up, and you can see there's there's some bugbear children playing in the street. There's a few of the members of the Untamed watching them, just checking, making sure their area is kept well. Um, they uh, they kind of wave you down as you come on in. and they I say, was assuming that it's kind of like the scene where the record like scratches, and everyone turns, and yeah, they see are, you walking in. Tec- Yo, hey, we are technically on good terms with them. I am. Yeah. But then I remembered uh, that you have a cod piece. <laughs> How did you forget? Yeah, he only, and like Zogchen like purposely walks slowly in slow motion for this too. <laughs> oh um, yeah, with a little with a little with a little groove in his head to make sure it chatters upon every step. Oh, I got uh, I was made for loving you by kids going on. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. So right. yeah, you you go Blaster, ahead and uh, yeah, someone someone needs to like write a song about like lich love or something. Um, I'm on it. All right, so you go ahead and you roll on in, and uh, the some of the bugbears come on up, and they see you guys, and they uh, one of them walks up to Zogchan, and he's gonna go, he's gonna do the whole like predator handshake uh, to you, Zogchan. <laughs> you <laughs> son of a yeah, bitch. Like, you son of a bitch. He's like he comes, he says, you son of a bitch, and he big arms all muscle out, and he so he kind of like yeah. like pulls his head back to look at your cod piece, and he says, that's a that's a nice. That's a nice outfit. Say, nice looking for free. Touching's going to cost you. <laughs> he laughs. He says, what, uh, what brings you back to the Untamed so soon? I heard you had a, I heard you guys went on a little uh, excursion. Yeah, you know, we had a little business out in Businessville. Um, what's, uh, who are we looking for again? Uh, this is the Nagi. Nagi. But Nagi. We're looking for information on Nagi. Yeah, you know, it was interesting, you know, how when we were doing business, uh, we heard there's a, there's a homie by the name of Nagi, you know, you know any Nagis? Yeah, the name gets dropped around town once in a while. It's uh, yeah. a little bit out of my uh, pay grade. You might want to talk to Stis about that. Stis, huh? Yeah, that's the leader. Yeah. Of the, her, yeah. When, when, when this when this name Nagi is is brought up, what is it what, like? What what else is being said when his name is dropped? Uh, good things, bad things, exciting things. Things. Or just people just say Nagi and then walk away. I don't know. <laughs> Na- Nagi. Uh, Nagi's got to okay certain elements of the town. I'll say. Mm. There's uh, there's definitely a uh, a city council, and then there's Nagi. Right. Okay. So What's soft he touch. Look like? We should find. Yeah, soft touch. We should find out the. Uh, I, saw, I think we should go talk to Sis. Stis. Stis. It's Stis. Is the yeah her name. She. It's a she, right? Yeah, she. Yeah, that's yeah, Stis. All right. Let's see what my old lady's doing. Okay. So yeah, you you guys get a you guys get brought on in, and Stis comes on down the stairs, and uh, says, uh, "You clean up that whole business. That whole business you had." Oh, it's uh, it's. It's clean, cleaner than uh, I don't know. I don't know what a D and D reference would be for it. <laughs> cleaner than this the, the equivalent of a pope sheet. It's it's cleaner uh, than this polished skull around my crotch. Uh, <laughs> hey, 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 we're talking about the real business. Um, I like how Zogchen's now turned into like this, like almost Andrew Dice Clay type figure. <laughs> it's completely changed the way yes. you this yeah, character. Put on he's like, he's like, like, hey, like hey. Yeah. In, in, in all fairness, to get mad at it really, it really depends on on how much sleep I've had the night before. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, this is kind of where all my characters go to. Uh, and I'm just like little boy blue. He needed the money. Oh, um, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, you know, it's interesting when we were cleaning up that business. You know, you know, 
doing windows and uh, painting houses here. Um, well, we, we heard this name Nagi mentioned. You ever hear of a Nagi before? Oh, uh, yeah, we know Nagi. Big mover and shaker in town. I'm, 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 yeah, what's he moving and shaking? <laughs> what isn't he? Uh, he lets us operate. We well, have, uh, uh, he's definitely uh, someone we have to... Our revenue stream goes up to a little bit, but he definitely lets us take care of our own. Yeah. Um, yeah. So where, where 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 can I talk to Nagi? I, I think I, I think I uh, well, uh, I think I got something that he's missing. I I, I, I can set up, I can I can set up a meeting. It's the least I could do okay, for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, but uh, are, you, are you going out of your way? I don't want to. I don't want to put you out here. Where where it is that he's uh, been asking about the uh, four of you? He wants to know who these strangers. Well, I, I, just... Listen, I understand the con piece news gets around, <laughs> but uh, you're welcome. He, Onto his head. He's more interested <laughs> yeah, right. in people that just kind of show up that don't exactly uh, walk into town. We'll say. Okay. Yeah, uh, well, I listen, I, I, you know, I know this world, nothing's free. Um, so uh, how much how much would this meeting inconvenience you monetarily? Let's just say, let's make it an even, uh, why, don't, why don't we, for services rendered and everything, why don't we make it an even 100 gold pieces and I'll make it happen tonight. All right, I, I slap uh, Trouncer's ass. Yeah, sorry. I like kind of nudge. You slap all the ass and coins just fall out of them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally a hundred coins. That should be exact. Uh, yeah, exact amount. <laughs> Goes right, right into our hands. Your sheet, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you go. Really you sense. drop a hundred coins under. He says, uh, oh. "I take it. I take it. Your uh, little venture out of town went well. <laughs> kind of pockets them. Yeah, it did. And, and I pretend I have a hat, and I go. <laughs> I think you have a you have a you have a headband. I think. Okay, like a hood. You have a hood <laughs> That's on. right. Yeah, my headband. Yeah, you, you pull your hood down. All right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you go ahead and uh, uh, pay it, pay her up, and she says, "Yeah, I'll make it happen tonight. Why don't you? Uh, I'll, I'll make sure. To, I'll send one of our uh, one of our uh, not so younglings to to tell you where to go tonight. They'll find you." All right, so yes. yeah, she sets up this Thank meeting, uh, this meeting and such, um, or says like it's set up uh, and that you'll get found. Uh, you have about it sounds like you guys have a few hours to kind of burn or, or chill out. Um, Stis wants to know like so what happened with Alvini? He's alive. He's alive. That's good. A little yeah. more. Uh, he's okay. Maybe a little bit more humbler for a minute, but he's alive. So wouldn't wouldn't hurt him. Uh, no. Yeah, I heard. I heard a big uh, a big contract came through uh, the other the other night or yesterday for uh, some uh, caravan work. It's, it's funny how that stuff opens up. It, it just is. you know those jobs just like open right back up. That's again. a booming industry. It Watch really it is. It really is. I understand early, why you guys got involved. In it. This is a, it's a you know early retirement is definitely a problem. Yeah, I'm just really you know. <laughs> I don't know if it's, uh, it's uh, really meant for me. I, I see myself going into something more with paper, paper products. Fair enough. Yeah, office work. <laughs> I get sad whenever we uh, visit the Untamed idea. because of you, Moel. It reminds me of Moel every time. You know, he really wasn't our friend. You remember that, right? Like, he was just... <laughs> he was my first bugbear friend. He wasn't, though. He was, like, Sist is more your friend than... Yes, you're right. It's true. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. It was fun finding him. I just, I, like, I rejoice in that whole adventure of oh, tracking him down. I love how you are a gladiator who really enjoys moments. I do, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, what is, but what is not combat, but a series of moments? Yeah, yes. you're just like a brief moment. Your time in the gladiatorial pit is just giving you an appreciation of just <laughs> every moment yes. is a gift. Because you're it's really been so short. Fun. Every moment I shared with anyone in the you're pit has ended. In this... Yes, you, you really put the glad. In 
That's you are the me. nicest gladiator I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we gotta. All right, so that we have to do a new shirt, uh, Michael. We gotta do a shirt of like a really happy like centaur yeah. gladiator, and it yeah. says "glad like dash eight eater." Yeah, and just <laughs> tearing somebody in half. <laughs> and he's just like holding bodies on like on, yeah. on, yeah. on trials. Like, yeah, he is the gladiator. All right. Very nice. Well, let's us. Uh, okay, does anybody need to do anything? This is our last chance to do yeah. stuff Weapons or to are... buy stuff before we have to. Before things. For what? Go. We're we're. I mean, we're we're, we have to hang meeting. around. Yeah, yeah but got, I mean, yeah. we have some time. I would like yeah. to do a bit of crop dusting. <laughs> oh, jeez. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what? Barbara wants to do a bit of crop dusting. I, I, yeah, there's a lot of context that has to be done there, please. Uh... <laughs> she, gets, she gets on my back, we, we roll through town, and we just fart a little here, fart a little there. Yeah, that's, not, that's what I was understanding. Uh, right. I'm trying to see if I need anything, but I don't think I need anything. I think I'm pretty good. You guys get a little restocked, yeah. I mean, sorry, it's the sherry any... talking. It's the, it's the sherry, sherry talking. Yeah, you guys are still a little talking. tipsy. I mean, you definitely let Norvar do the talking to Stis. That's something you don't want to embarrass yourself from. But then again, like as you guys are outside, Tearless and, and Morbarn and uh, Zogchen are outside, kind of hang. Or Zogchen goes inside, but the two drunk people, the bugbear seem to be having fun. The children seem to be having fun. Uh, some of the children do have questions about the centaur. They're very curious about the centaur. Uh, they've never yeah. seen one. Uh, I do like little like like leg moves. Yeah, you do little leg yeah. moves. They, they kind of like you kind of do a little dance routine outside. Pick um, one up, you know. pick some of the kids up. Yeah, they're having a blast, and the bugbears are having a blast. And you're actually noticing like most of them are just these bugbears in this town. The untamed. I mean, they really like their family, and they will do anything to protect them. But you guys have been part of, kind of welcomed into their clique. You're not you're not part of the untamed, but you're definitely like uh, you got you got you got like the the guest pass. Nice. Feels good. Feels really good. Purchase like a great axe or something one day. But so, um, what? Uh, yeah. Uh, so as you guys kind of like, you guys kind of mellow out for the night. You, I don't know if you want to hang out with the Untamed or if you want to go back to my father's place or head out to other bars or try to get information gather. I'm not sure what your current. Uh... Yeah. Well, I mean, my my character. I mean, he, he obviously he can be very social when he needs to, but he also, you know. He just wants to be alone again, so he's like, "All right, I need to recharge." <laughs> so, yeah, so you, you head back to uh, the one place you do know you could get isolated at if you need to would be back at my father's place in the uh, cellar. Where I'm going? Okay, so you go Where back. I'm going. You yeah, I'm going to the med- cellar. You start meditating, uh, contempl- sure. contemplating your new acquisition, and maybe if you are getting too attached to material things, then you're like, "Nah." Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's not that. Uh, it, it's 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 a it's an achievement in my life. Um, Noravar, uh, Morbarn, and Tearless, uh, the two of you guys sober up a bit, but, uh, you're, you're definitely still, you, you still smell good. Um, yeah. and, uh, Noravar, you're a little jealous of that maybe, but like you kind of come back and, uh, what do you guys want to else do? Uh, you're waiting for this, like some kids supposed to come and like contact you about where, where to meet up. Yeah. yeah. I think that, I mean, I don't, I don't need anything. I mean, I got some health. Mm-hmm stuff i feel pretty good i'll probably just um you know meditate on trying not to be shitty i don't know i you know we should think about <laughs> you know we should try and think about like some sort of a comp do we still want to like sleep in a basement at some point we may want to find accommodations in the city yeah this is true i mean i don't mind i mean are we are we like is this home base now is this city well, well, it's it home base for now wizards but it also yeah. might take the heat off of Quantic. Yeah, it's true. Take the wet off. Of These are all solid points. Quantic's the guy that owns my father's place, and he, you're, you guys coming in and out of his place is his place get a little bit of attention. You'll, you're kind of noticing. Yeah, is, so, is he getting pissed off at us? No, he's not pissed. Is he like, he, hey, you're back. He, you, you do you if you you bring it up to him at one point, and he kind of talks about how he's like, I'm not worried. I believe that the benefactor will take care of me. Regardless. Oh, God, well, I, I think we. Uh, how much money do we have left? I guess uh, got a few hundred. <laughs> okay, why don't we get? Uh, why don't we get ourselves uh, in the time? Why don't we find an inn that we can actually like live in for a while? Yeah, you guys go and put down oh, yeah. uh, ten gold pieces. It's actually it's actually pretty affordable, and uh, you find a uh, a nice inn. I'll give you a name for it here in a second. Yes. It doesn't have to be very far from my father's place. We the can be real in that area. My, my mother's place. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Real Amen. How about, 
I like hotel it, motel holiday inn <laughs> Um, you, you girl, go to, you, girl you find keeps a, acting up. You find a decent spot near my father's place called uh, the Infamous Pearl. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. That's how, that is sounds bit, like okay. Right. For the Big record, few of those. that's not what you think it is, guys. The infamous. <laughs> I was not thinking that at all. No, yeah, I was yeah, me that. neither. I thought that immediately. <laughs> my perception is. Rated rather high. Oh, really? <laughs> What's the decor for this place? It's kind of a big deal. You, you know, you go on out, and the, the sign outside is a large, kind of like tarnished pearl. It's mm -hmm. not like pristine. Um, you go on inside, and it's a decent inn. Uh, they have like a bar downstairs, but it's not like full service. It's kind of uh, trans, it's a little bit more transient as a, of a bar. But the upstairs uh, you go into, it's, it's decent sized rooms. Um, they're not. Uh, your interior, they do have rooms downstairs, which is kind of why you guys picked it. Uh, so you don't have to go up and downstairs. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you know, it's the decor is not anything to write home about. Uh, there's kind of a quasi shoddy, older, like nautical theme, which is weird because this place is not near like an open body of water. Like <laughs> there's a river, but like there's not like a place where people sail boats and crap like that. Um, According to the, you know, if you ask, you ask the people there, they talk about, yeah, the first owner was this, like, uh, this, like, sailor, and he retired here and opened this place up and had tails, but he's like, it, it's been here now for a few hundred years. It, it, I don't, we don't know. We just kind of kept it for... You should do a makeover. <laughs> and you gotta rebrand and do all this stuff. New sign. That's expensive. This is easier to paint over the crap. Perhaps one day we'll invest in a tavern and we can decorate it. We I mean, need a name. Goes, what's up? We, we do need a I name. I tell the guys, we need a name Not, not, with, not the way you guys spend money. But and you, as you, I, as you I like the, cover my cod the, piece. The innkeeper's name? No, no our, our team name. name. Oh, you need a team name. So we can take know, an innkeeper's so name because we're probably going to deal with it. the infamous Pearl and, and sit around a table drinking their basic ale, yeah. which they're probably getting from someplace else, and you debate a name. So let's, let's hear the name debate. Oh, man. This is tough. Okay. Do we roll gen uh, random stuff and then no, no, no. You guys, think of yeah, ideas? You guys it, man. Okay. Well, I'm still a little horrified by all the eyeballs that we saw. We call ourselves the eye. The eye. Uh, we uh, did collect toes. Uh, yeah. I'm not oh. calling our group the toes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, toes. Sherry. We do like Sherry. You Ooh. two like Sherry. Uh, that's true. Uh, I mean, nobody hates Sherry, but... Moel was a big, uh, important friend of ours. How is Moel? <laughs> so, why do you focus on Moel? <laughs> how about, how about uh, the Virgo Moels? No, no. <laughs> how about the fuck em up kids? How about fuck the fuck em up kids? How about I want to start tamed? a band called the fuck em up kids, though, now, Andrea. Like, that's how about we awesome. call ourselves the tamed? Because then there's the untamed, and then we're the tamed. Uh, there's, there's, a there's bite in their style, dude. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's going to get you in trouble with them. That all gets in trouble. That all gets trouble. Um, well, where do we come from? We came from a pit, right? We came no, from. I didn't come from a pit. I got thrown in a pit. We got thrown yeah. In a pit. <laughs> um, how about. Pity, pity the fool. How about the pity party? Pity party. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like it. Uh, <laughs> pity the fool. Pity, the, pity fools. the fools. I don't want to be the fool. We could go tsunami bomb. I don't want to be the fools. Be like pity. badass. Pity the fools. Uh, pedophile. What? No, no. What? Pity the fool party. Whoa. 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 Wow. That, yeah, that got dark. Don't get flagged. Just you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just saying, if we're going to be this, like, quasi group that searches out these war criminals, then we yeah. might as well be cool. Nordberg. We need, yeah. we need some... Isn't uh, that what we're doing? Are, this metal is, name. Is Munich? Like, you know, like... Munich. Well, <laughs> what, you get, what, we can be Mossad? Uh, <laughs> let's see. No, let's... I don't want to do that either. But, I mean, we're essentially a team. We're looking for these wizards. I we're mean, looking for wizard I, I, I still think the... Uh, the reluctant murder hobos are okay. I mean, you guys are reluctant. I'm not. I've embraced it. You're, You're reluctant. reluctant. 
<laughs> yeah, no, you're not no, at all. You're a, you're a murder hobo. Yeah. I'm ready to kill everyone in this town. Do it's we need to call ourselves the mur- You are the weirdest monk I've ever met in my life. You, just <laughs> you don't know what it was like. Uh, you're the, the murder monk. Theory. Yeah, no, I don't. He is murder monk. Frankly, I find it terrifying, and that's saying something. I've seen some All right, shit. how about the Wu-Tang? The Wu-Tang! <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to get people coming after you for that, too. Bone <laughs> yeah, power. Yeah, from Shaolin, power. baby. Well, Killer bees. Killer yeah. bees. How about that? Killer bees. The killer bees. Killer bees. The killer, killer bees. Beast. Uh, I was going to say, do I need to put like a bee on my shield? Like, we're the killer bees. What if we're And then okay, so and before we attack, thing. we just go... Um, I don't know. I mean, what's that organization that we're working with called again? Nambla. Benefactor. I I just want to just refer to him. Nambla? Really? (laughs) Wow. Wow. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 that gets it. Andrew's talking about pedophilia over here. (laughs) Yeah, Um, this video is getting flagged. Yeah. Let's call our group uh, QA. Wait, yeah. Benefactors. uh, Maybe we're just the nameless. The nameless. The nameless benefactors. The unholy nameless. Yeah, totally nameless. We're the nameless. The shadow. Fucker. The shadow mate. The sh- I'm not calling myself the shadow fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I knew a gladiator named that once. Well, uh, like, what if we, what if we were named something that people scream when we come, come when we start coming and they're like the nameless. Oh dang! I don't know. I just thought it might be nameless, helpful I, if we I, represent I, an organization. Go with the nameless thing and then add something to it. The nameless. Right, blade. right. Nameless something, right. Fox. The nameless, like the nameless, nameless blades. Fox. The, nameless the nameless blades nameless and Fox. the name, the na- the nameless skull. The nameless codpiece skull. No, no the nameless. I knew that was going to come up in the, the name nameless, thing. I knew. Uh, did I? Did I bring it up at all? You were waiting for it. I saw you. Well, face. maybe I'm just saying that. <laughs> okay, let's let's say okay. Nameless, maybe something with uh, literary. Four name. men and a little cod piece. <laughs> <laughs> not little. Uh, it is a full size doll. <laughs> That's not what I had heard. Actually, I heard a rumor around the town nameless recently. juggernaut because we just um, come in. And yeah, just wreck I mean, the place. Sure. Nameless juggernaut. No. Uh, nameless. Uh, Voltron. I mean, really, I'm just saying that when we talk to Nagi, has suggestions we should Labyrinth. represent a group. Like, we could we could make it... Basically, whenever we talk to people, we try and pass ourselves off as that we're these agents from this group, and we don't want to sit there and call it the benefactor or, like... Right. I, what, I about, what about what about Dimac? Do you know what the Dimac is? No. It's, it's, the, it's the punch of death. Oh, it's okay. that same thing where... The you know, nameless didn't... Punch and it, well, nameless... it's not nameless. It's got oh, a name. Right. Yes. We Double are Dimac. the... <laughs> <laughs> I am the nameless John Osborne. Yeah. <laughs> I just, um, I, I remember when we when we were talking to Avini, we left it without us knowing, but I didn't want to necessarily go, hi, my name is Norvar Demir. I just, yeah. your character. Yeah, and go ahead and give my name at the nearest uh, city. I, and I, got, I got a suggestion if you're going. Yes. Uh, yes. The, name, the nameless Rippers. Nameless rippers. 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 I don't know. This is what I have in my head. The nameless crop dusters. Yeah. <laughs> that's like that's like everybody, dude. Why yeah. don't we just call it the nameless? <laughs> no one announces it. That's what if we we'll just start with this. concerts? We'll start what with if, the nameless, right? What if we just be represent ourselves as like we work with the nameless, and then there those are the names we've got. We're the nameless. The nameless. All right. And like the nameless the is the group that we act like. Literally, our whole cool, our whole point here is like we're agents of the nameless. Even though, what about the nameless, nameless dark? I like, I like. That's creepy. The nameless dark. We work for the nameless dark. You know, I mean, essentially, because what we're doing here is, you know, we could either be a bunch of assholes who are just looking around, but I think it would be better if a bunch of people were like the nameless are coming. You know, or oh, we were agents yeah. of the nameless are coming. We make it as if we're working for the nameless. There you but go. We're the I nameless. like that. All so right. we can always shift the blame. Yeah, there you go. exactly. Like, all right. Because I don't want to have to give people our names. Like, how do I find you? It's so, like, ask for the nameless. You know, that's yeah. what we're working I'm with for. you. I'm with you. Yeah. That's the only reason I bring it up. Because I was like, yeah. I don't want to sit yeah. there and go like, hi, my name is Norvar and I raided your caravan. And now there's a warrant oh, out for my oh. fucking arrest. So it's like, I just, <laughs> you know, it's like I thought that maybe it would be better to create a group that we are supposedly a part of that's larger than us and okay. always we are represented. Oh, I know it's us. We are the crop dusters. 
Thanks. I'm sorry. I have a, I have a gangbanger background, so you know, I mean, that's where I'm coming. From. Uh, so okay, so so you guys come with this this idea of working for uh, that we work for the nameless. That's who we are. We work yeah, for the we nameless. are the yeah. agents of the nameless. We're the independent and that's who's looking the for nameless. these wizards. Yeah, that's and, who's looking uh, for these wizards. You, as you guys kind of debate your name over cheap beer, uh, this younger bugbear, uh, maybe there you go. Very nice, Jerry. Uh, this this uh, <laughs> this younger bugbear Man of War, baby. comes in. Uh, and he has a piece of paper for you uh, that's wax sealed and says, uh, I, I was told to give this to you and hands it to you. Cool. And we open it. I right, open it. Um, it has details. <laughs> it has, um, you kind of like, crumble up and just don't look at it and walk dude. away. It doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> make a, Should I roll? No, you, you open it up and you, you go to look and start reading it. And it doesn't make a lot of sense. But more barn, you're looking at it and you're picking up on the the hints and the clues drop throughout it. Ooh, it's yeah. got that thieves can. Uh, yep. And why did I never learn this? It's like when lizard. I know it stuff. seems to be important, right? Yeah. Uh, you you kind of catch on that it's setting up for you to meet with uh, Nagi and some of his um, compatriots uh -oh. tonight uh, at around uh, eight p.m. at a specific location that's a little farther in the town than you guys have been. Not a second location. Hmm. All right. So let's uh, go. It seems like yeah, you guys kind of uh, seem like you have a little bit of time, but not much, and you start making your way over there. Yeah. And uh, we'll pick it up next time with uh, you ah. guys with Nagi. Nameless. All right. You right. are the nameless. You guys That's are. Right. You guys are entertaining. I and, and thanks everybody for watching. We got a few watchers, people kind of jumping in. Uh, I made sure to put up in the chat. You guys can go and look up all the information about everyone that's playing today their bands their their art sites all that good stuff uh please but thank you everybody for the jumped in so got some followers got some subscribers i appreciate that uh, it's a good time guys all right thank you so much uh but we'll pick it up wednesday next week and with the uh the meeting with nagi and uh yeah, see you guys i'll see you guys next week <laughs> uh let's hit the stream end here